Samsung's back once again with a camera-centric smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy K Zoom. The follow-up to the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom, it comes with better optics at 20.7 megapixels and more power with a hexa-core processor. It's aimed squarely at those who prize the camera above all else in a smartphone and is hoping to tempt you away from your current pocket camera. T3 went hands-on with the Samsung Galaxy K Zoom. One of the main complaints we had with the S4 Zoom was its size. We're happy to report that the K Zoom is smaller. It's far from small, just smaller than its frankly huge predecessor. Gone is the strange side grip and the lens doesn't protrude as much. It's a much more streamlined offering. The stats come in at 137.5 by 70.8 and 16.6 millimeters. Samsung claimed that this is a smartphone with high-end optics, but the specs are a far cry from the high-end Galaxy S5. You won't find any fingerprint action or heart rate monitor on board. S Health is the light version, but it will pair with all three Kia devices. Onto the screen and is a 4.8-inch HD Super AMOLED LED display with 1280x720p resolution. It's larger than the S5. S4 zoom that measured in at 4.3 inches, but smaller than the S5 at 5.1. The camera is obviously the main event, and Samsung has added a lot to its optics offering. The essential stats come in at 20.7 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor with 10 times optical zoom and HD video recording at 60p. Where things get interesting is the added features that are on offer. First up is the ability to set the exposure and focus independently within the same image. Tap on the screen and a pair of boxes will appear that you can then move to select the focus and exposure. Handy for bright backgrounds and dark foregrounds. Powering the huge camera is a hexa-core processor that includes a 1.3 GHz quad-core alongside a 1.7 GHz dual-core processor. Also on board is 2 GB of RAM. Battery life is taken care of by a 2,430 milliamp offering up from 2,330 on its predecessor, but it's smaller than the 2,800 unit in the S5. Don't expect more than a day's usage and even less if you're a happy snapper. The Samsung Galaxy K Zoom is a stronger offering than the S4 Zoom, but the problem it faces is the competition. It doesn't have the specs to match the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S5, HTC One M8 or Sony Xperia Z2, all of which take more than decent pictures with their onboard camera. It feels as though Samsung has gone back to the noughties when feature phones with the devices du jour. If you like music, you can get a music phone. Like browsing, you can get an internet phone and so on. The problem now is that we have high-end phones that can do all of these and more. For more on the Samsung Galaxy K Zoom, please subscribe to the channel and head over to t3.com for all the latest tech news, reviews and features.